Must have got cold in here. Water bottles frozen. All right. Just breaking light, so I'm just gonna uh, ease up this power line road, get to this foothill, and get up on the foothills and glass down these flats. But I'm expecting some other hunting pressure, so um, you know, down here where the roads are, so maybe the antelope will push up into these foothills. But we'll see. Nice cold morning, just breaking day. It's beautiful and cold. I said that. So much of this country is just this flat. Not seeing any antelope out there. Oh. Could be in their beds. I'm gonna give it a few minutes. Glass for 10 or 15 minutes till the sun pops up. See if anything stands up out of its bed to stretch and then work my way up this ridge. And it looks like it's, everything's kind of melted off on this east side or west side. So I'll get up on these ridges and down in the way, in the hillsides. Cut a bunch of animal tracks, but looks like everything's headed off the mountain, down the ridge. But I just want to get up into this bowl. It should be protected from the wind. And I'm just gonna glass it out and look in there. That's what it looks like. To see there. Checking poles are coming out. That's how you know it's been a long day. Just had a herd of antelope on this saddle up here. Got down, I've got my gun and everything. And they spooked over something to haul butt up to this little saddle. See if I can see where they went, but I just, I don't want to spook them. Too much. Hope they don't travel too far, but if I can get up here really quick, I might be able to get a shot on one of the other ridges. If anything, I'll be able to get up where they went over. And if I can see them on the other side, I should have a shot. There's a big basin right up there.
looks like he's just kind of holding those dogs. I'm gonna put my pack right in this notch where this brush is. Nice buck. All right, make sure I got everything. Air, range finder, rifle cover, scope cover. I think that's all I took out. Oh, trekking poles, that's it. All right, let's go recover an awesome buck. Just a beautiful buck. I was beginning to think that I wasn't gonna find one up here today. Was able to make it happen, so just super stoked. These things are just beautiful. I can never get enough of hunting antelope. I don't get to do it every year, but man, I sure could. Beautiful, and he's haired up real nice with his winter coat tagged up. Time to get the work done. I cannot believe the gift of them just stopping here on this saddle. They could have gone any direction after spooking them over that saddle. But they didn't, so I'll take it. Now I just gotta uh, eat a little bit and get my stuff organized here and get to cutting. Ugh. Find my camera gear. Take some pictures. Find my kill kit. There's my battery kit. There's my kill kit. So I just keep a little, little kit here together that has game bags, obviously. These ones are new, I haven't used these. Got an extra lighter, some wipes in here, some gloves. A little sharpener for my knife, and I've got some paracord in case I gotta tie an animal up from going over or sliding over a cliff or something, you know. Um, and then just a spare headlamp. Never know if you're gonna round, and this little petzel is just super light. So that's what I keep in my kill kit. For then I can get my hands clean, get everything done and taken care of. And then I also, in the bottom of my pack, keep a contractor bag, garbage bag. That way I can keep my pack clean because an antelope, deboned antelope, isn't that big. And I can pack an antelope or even a average size deer out all in one load and put all my 
camera gear on the outside, or sometimes I even put my cameras and my lenses and stuff in pockets and just tie my jacket to the outside. It's not the prettiest load, but it's effective. So that's what I'm gonna do, get to work on him. Still super excited, I can't even believe it. Aye. Got her in here. It's not the prettiest job, but you know what? It's not what we're up here for. We're not up here for looks, right? It's in there, it's solid. As long as things don't uh, work awry. Yeah, that ain't going nowhere. Should be good. Let's see if I can just get it up on here. Make this trip happen. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I should have invited Boyd. But he'll be happy to see me with a big buck on my back tonight when I get to his house. Now is when we resort to uh, cell phone filming. There's your pack out video. Horn in the bag. Alright, let me get these poles going. Sunglasses on. Catch up with you guys at the bottom.